Oh, well, howdy. Welcome to the open door store. We've been closed for a little while, but I know some of you wanted to look inside the building, so I thought I'd uh, give you a little show here, walk around inside. But this is where the little store is that I had open for some years and haven't for a while. We'll come off the tripod here and and check this out, but we have a 5,000 gallon two compartment tank with a 2,000 and a 3,000 uh, compartment under there that's all legal insured, never had water in it, never leaked gas out of it, and ice freezer down there, and of course this uh, Wonderful snow roof that I built on here keeps it warm and dry. Anyway, we'll come off the tripod and give you a look inside. This is one of my good homemade signs. Welcome to the open door store. I had that sign there. Uh, the whole time I was open and people would walk through the door and they'd say, what's up with the free bread and water? And of course, I'd have to tell them about the bread of life and the living water that is Jesus Christ. Anyway, you can see i got a lot of, some stock here yet, uh, all kinds of different stuff. There's some fishing supplies and different things, but uh, up there on the back wall, uh, there's still a bunch of VHS, VHS uh, videos, and uh, on a rainy day in Loman, uh, when there's not anything else to do, there was people that will still rent those videos, so I've not got away with them. And my little office back here. You see this antique meat scale, <laughs> uh, grocery scale. This came from Atlanta, Idaho, out of the. The Greylock Lodge, they used to call it, and you you saw that place uh, on the video, Atlanta, the driving tour. But that guy was going to throw that away, and well, it was it was greasy. It had years and years of old hamburger grease on it. It just had been sitting in there. But this is a little office I ran the business out of here. Neon open sign works just fine. If I turned it on, we'd get a bunch of cars stuck in the parking lot. You see the snow's not all gone. A great cash register works good. Uh, uh, Pert near new, actually. And then uh, I don't have any coolers left in here. I do have one, one uh, big ice freezer, one big freezer. I still have quite a bit of stock in here. And oh, in fact, the reason this came up... I was coming down to shop at the open door store and get me a new comb. I left one of my I left my ditty bag in Boise when I was there in ministry and uh my hairbrush is in there. Got a lot of fishing supplies, different things. A few automotive items and Batteries, and of course the necessities, some fingernail clippers and flip-flops. They lose their flip-flops in the river and you got to sell those. And They're hot springs and things. And But I've kind of left what I could in here to give people the idea of what I sold. This was, uh, there was a lot of automotive products and different things on this shelf. I, I still shop here so things... Things things are dwindling all the time, uh, but uh, this great set of shelves here. Of course, it was full of uh, mostly canned goods and and different things, uh, coffee, all the things that you'd need, paper plates and things like that. Uh, in fact, you'll see there uh, roasting pans, uh, aluminum roasting pans on Thanksgiving. <laughs> You'll sell a few of them, that's for sure. People from their cabins, oh, we forgot the roaster. But, uh, 
of course these were all stocked completely full of things and the beverage coolers and the things for the groceries the salad the cheese meats and milk and stuff set up against these walls that uh uh they were the biggest part of them all but one that uh, broke down on me was uh belonged to the beverage companies here you'll see uh pots and pans and different varieties of things there that people forget when they go camping uh, or even in their cabins these pot scrubbers and spatulas and different things that uh, they need them and we have them <laughs> we always did and we, we would sell that stuff and of course you see there there's one coffee pot left there the campers would come and they brought everything but the coffee pot so uh you know, it amazes me how how many people they think, oh, we're going to put a convenience store here. And I tell you, it'd just be, uh, I think, the wrong thing. You have to make a general store out of the place. And, of course, actually, uh, in the long run, this would be the building that you would replace with a new, bright, and big, wonderful building. This did back in... Back in the corner here, you see, you might see where the roof's been patched here. And there was, uh, just in that area, a bathroom, and that patching uh, covered up all the holes from the lighting and the vents and different things. I took that bathroom out of there because right now on the property there's no running water, and we used uh, portable outhouses for, for this. This is another room that uh used for storage or could be used for an office uh, and of course a stock room anyway uh that's about all there is to it i you notice these blankets over the doors and and uh stuff for quite some time i had <laughs> i had uh this used to be a big part of my stock room back here this was these shelves completely full of soda pop and different things and uh, that was that way for several years I had to keep enough heat from things so things wouldn't freeze and uh, some groceries here and so I would cover up the windows in the winter time and leave one little heater running but uh, I just could not stand to do it any longer not cost effective so I gave all that stuff away <laughs> and uh, I'm sure glad I did this winter was the first time I didn't have to have any heat in this building uh, anyway that's what the building's all about it's dry and, and good but like I say uh, ideally there would be a, a new building built and uh, maybe this moved off to one side or the back where Or you could use it for a, a good fine dry storage shed. This is looking off to the west down to the other end of the property. Goes past those trees clear down to that far road down there you see. Quite a bit of ground. And 555 feet of highway frontage here. And of course, the intersection with Highway 17, that county road over there. And so, quite a piece of property. Anyway, I thought I'd show you the inside of the store. And that's it. So, God bless you and see you next time.